The Tesla team is, are making uh, great progress uh, in one year building uh, a couple of machines, you know, from scratch. You know, that's remarkable. Uh, they're shining a spotlight on the importance of this technology, which we've been arguing for 30 years. With the Tesla Optimus, Tesla has come a long way in a short time. Three generations of robots in just 16 months. And each generation is a promise for the successor product. If the Bumblebee prototype is the initial foundation that brought Tesla into the field of robot development, Optimus Gen 1 is a demonstration that Tesla has a long-term strategy to produce this technology. Then, at the end of 2023, Optimus 2 was released to the surprise of the fan community, and questions like whether or not it could compete with Atlas Boston Dynamic were discussed quite a lot. So, if we had a Robot Olympics, what do you think the winner would be? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel. Before we begin, with all the good wishes for a brilliant and happy Christmas season, we hope things are going right with you and your family. Thank you for accompanying us all this time. Now, let's get started with today's content. Comparing these two technologies is in some ways quite disadvantageous for Tesla because Boston Dynamics has more than 20 years of experience developing robots, while Tesla has only entered this field for less than two years. However, even if SpaceX catches up with NASA, it is completely easy to imagine a new Tesla robot technology that's more advanced than its predecessor. How is Optimus 2 compared to Atlas Robot? First, let's talk about design and dimensions. Although Atlas Bot shows its agility, its design is as outdated as a pile of glued metal. The Atlas Bot is primarily constructed of a mixture of 3D printed parts from titanium, aluminum, and a rudimentary piece of plastic shielding. The structure is 80% metal, so the weight is quite heavy at 196 pounds, with a height of about 4 feet 10 inches. In contrast, if there were a ranking of the most human-like and perfect, we're confident Optimus Gen 2 is at the top right now and far ahead of Atlas when it comes to physique and being completely disguised when wearing clothes. Optimus 2 is mainly composed of 60% aluminum and 40% polyurethane plastic, which covers almost the entire robot. Tesla will not use carbon fiber for the Optimus 2 because it's quite expensive and difficult to produce. Thanks to using less metal in favor of plastic, Optimus 2 will be significantly lighter, weighing only 138 pounds after losing 22 pounds in the new update. This has helped add a big plus compared to the Atlas bot. According to the figures we compiled, the Tesla Optimus 2 also demonstrates a better payload carrying capacity of 45 pounds instead of the 25 pound that the Atlas Boston can do. This advantage allows Tesla Bot to be more flexible with heavy goods or carry more objects if required. We know that after improving the travel speed by 30%, Optimus 2 can travel a range of 6.5 miles per hour instead of the previous 5 miles. Doing a simple calculation, we'll have the speed of Tesla Bot at 2.9 meters per second, which is faster than Atlas Boston's 2.5 meters per second. Remember, we are talking about walking speed. So, why does Atlas demonstrate good mobility but still seems to be just a cover-up for weak technology? In promotional videos about Atlas Bot, we often see it demonstrating its flexibility with a variety of actions such as park or jumping, somersaulting, and climbing, which are quite impressive compared to its speed of 2.5 meters a second. At first glance, it seems much more advanced than Optimus, but it's a perfect cover-up. Specifically, Atlas uses a pre-programmed computer vision-based perception system, and it is not highly feasible for unexpected situations. In contrast, the Tesla Optimus uses a perception system based on AI. The robot operates entirely based on eight cameras with 360-degree viewing angles that come with LiDAR and radar sensors instead of being manually programmed. The AI system in the first Optimus 2 receives information from sensors to create 3D models of the environment. This model is used to navigate the robot and avoid obstacles. AI systems also use image and video data to learn how to perform complex actions such as grasping and moving objects. Tesla's neural network is trained end-to-end, -end, meaning it learns the entire task as a whole, eliminating the need to break it down into smaller, separate tasks. Tesla's modern approach helps minimize complex problems with data and code. 
With abundant high-quality data, robots can adapt to new tasks without much reprogramming. More comprehensible, Boston Dynamics Atlas robot is more advanced and superior to Tesla's robot in terms of skills and complex physics when performing acrobatics, running, and jumping that closely resemble human movements. However, Tesla's robot evidently excels in decision-making for task execution due to Tesla's advanced AI data analysis technology. The Optimus 2 AI perception system allows the robot to learn and adapt to the environment more effectively. What does the hand design of the two robot technologies prove? The Optimus hand features 11 degrees of freedom, designed based on the human hand structure, complete with fingers capable of generating frictional force to grasp objects, even smooth ones like an egg, creating a scene reminiscent of a Hollywood movie. However, when looking at Atlas, we observe two plastic hands that are often round or sometimes have a less aesthetically pleasing crab-like shape. Although Boston Dynamics Atlas has 12 degrees of freedom, they are not integrated into the hands but are instead supplemented into the forearm, with each forearm having 6 degrees of freedom. This allows Atlas to lift heavy objects relatively easily compared to the Tesla bot, but the safety and stability of objects on the hand cannot be compared to Optimus 2. Optimus's hand is equipped with sensors to perceive objects in the surrounding environment enabling the robot to carry out cargo transportation tasks more accurately. What difference do electric drive and hydraulic drive make? The significant difference between two robot technologies also arises from their transmission system. As we know, Tesla's Optimus 2 utilizes an advanced electric transmission system designed by Tesla, while Atlas employs a hydraulic transmission system. Classifying these two transmission systems will bring specific advantages and disadvantages to each robot generation. If the transmission system of the Optimus Gen 1 primarily uses electricity to generate motion through a 2.3 kilowatt hour battery pack, Tesla may have upgraded the battery pack to 2.8 or 3 kilowatt hours for the second generation. Meanwhile, Boston Dynamics Atlas relies on hydraulic oil as the transmission fluid through hydraulic pumps. So, how versatile are the Optimus Gen 2 and Atlas with their separate powertrains? Because of the different structures, the electric drive system will be flexible in operation, easy to control speed, and have direct movement. Atlas may need time to build up hydraulic pressure before it can operate, while Optimus can start up immediately. It will also be highly efficient, especially in applications that require precision control and production. In other words, the Atlas hydraulic drive system will be suitable for applications that require large forces and need more stability than the Tesla bot. Thanks to pre-programming combined with a powerful transmission system, Atlas shows mobility and running steps or operations that Optimus might not be able to do at present. For Optimus Gen 2, the electric transmission system will be lighter, accounting for 35% of the robot's weight and may be suitable for applications requiring lightweight and easy integration into combat systems. In addition to the type of materials used for the robot, this factor also contributes to making the Tesla Bot 2 lighter by about 58 pounds compared to its counterpart. Not only that, thanks to a relatively simple structure of the electric transmission system, Optimus 2 will be simpler to maintain and require less maintenance compared to the hydraulic system of Atlas. On the other hand, as we have seen, Atlas Boston has more weight due to the presence of a hydraulic oil system and pump. Additionally, because feed fluids can cause oil leaks and environmental and safety impacts, periodic maintenance is required to check and maintain performance. In Optimus, simply replace the battery if there are signs of slow charging or degradation, usually for 1.5 years if used continuously every day. Another factor that must be mentioned is engine noise. The Atlas's hydraulic system is noisier than the quiet operation of the Tesla Optimus electric motor. This is something we are quite concerned about because in case they are sold on the market to serve customers but continuously emit noise, it will negatively affect the usage experience. Of course, no one wants to buy a noisy machine. So, how will these two robots be commercialized? Easy to recognize when looking at the design of two robots, Atlas and Optimus, which were created for very different purposes, Atlas is designed for research purposes only, unlike Optimus, which Musk plans to commercialize on the market. Musk said in the presentation that he wants to produce 1 million Optimus, with the price dropping below $20,000.
the price may potentially increase to $30,000 in the future, but compared to what we know, it remains more affordable than Atlas, which is rumored to be priced up to $150,000. This is because Boston Dynamics robot took nearly 20 years to complete, incurring significantly higher costs due to the operation of the hydraulic system, which can be expensive to maintain over time due to fluid replacements and leak repairs. It's worth noting that Boston Dynamics' four-legged robot Spot is sold for $74,000. According to experts, humanoid robots like Atlas are priced at least around $150K. So, what would robot technology look like if Elon Musk and Boston Dynamics cooperated? It's too bad that engineers from two companies can't work together to produce the same robot. Many interesting opinions responded. Why didn't Elon Musk spend $60 billion to buy Boston Dynamics instead of Twitter? They believe that Atlas Robot shows 50 times more flexibility and mobility than Optimus Bot. But they also agreed it doesn't show much promise when programmed. So when considering the future vision, we dare to assert that if Tesla combines with Boston, both Optimus or Atlas will have much more promise to be popular in the real world. The reality is that Boston Dynamics' Atlas will be prioritized for technology research while Tesla Bot, from its inception, has been designated for commercial purposes and integration into production lines at Tesla's Gigafactories, with repetitive tests in mind. So, while you might think comparing them is like comparing fire with water, our intention is to objectively differentiate the strengths and weaknesses of both robots. This comparison aims to consider how collaboration between the two manufacturers might lead to the creation of a technology that surpasses current expectations perhaps resulting in a perfect robot that no one could have ever imagined. Imagine combining the natural and fast movements of a Boston Dynamics robot integrated with a modern AI brain and the ability to do things flexibly thanks to the superior hands of Optimus 2. Wow, that would be a powerful combination. Wouldn't it be scary if there was such a robot around supporting us every day, perhaps even a guard? Shortly, the release of a large number of Tesla's Optimus robots in 2025 could mark an important step in the development of the company and Elon Musk. After escaping the Cybertruck production hell, Tesla can shift its focus to the robot and low-cost EV markets. Optimus Gen 3, Tesla's next generation of robots, is likely to appear as early as 2024, marking an important step forward in the development of robot technology. With continuous innovation, its perfection is significantly improved, bringing a better experience to users. The new battery pack, with a capacity of more than 3 kilowatt hours, promises to provide stable and reliable energy. Optimus Gen 3's walking speed is enhanced, surpassing the current generation 2, while providing flexible and efficient movement. Tesla Bot, expected to be a breakthrough in the technology field, can simultaneously help customers and businesses improve work performance. When introduced with the low-cost electric vehicle Tesla Model 2 with a price tag of only $20,000 to $25,000, Tesla is demonstrating its commitment to bringing modern technology to consumers with cheap prices. This action not only expands Tesla's influence in the field of electric vehicles, but also makes robot technology more friendly and accessible to all walks of life. This could be an important step in shaping the future of technology and also establish Elon Musk and Tesla as leaders in both fields. The collaboration between Elon Musk and Boston Dynamics could also lead to the creation of new robots with capabilities that surpass our imagination. For instance, robots could be utilized for space exploration to serve SpaceX's missions or to assist humans in high-risk rescue missions during natural disasters, especially in the United States where such occurrences are more prevalent. The integration of advanced robotics in these scenarios could significantly enhance the efficiency and safety of such operations. The potential applications of this collaboration extend beyond everyday tasks, reaching into realms that involve exploration, disaster response, and potentially transformative advancements in various fields. As the Atlas robot has been in development for a longer period, it naturally garners more attention than the entirely new Tesla Optimus. However, it is disheartening that Atlas was not constructed as a consumer product. One must also come to terms with the fact that all acrobatic and parker maneuvers performed by Boston Dynamics Atlas are pre-programmed routines. It genuinely cannot search for your tools and bring them to you upon request. 
Despite Boston Dynamics working on these aspects for decades, their robots have not yet transcended beyond pre-trained, potentially hazardous maneuvers. These robots still lack practical functionality. While Boston Dynamics robots may boast superior physical capabilities, even robots like Atlas cannot use their hands to pick up objects, despite being programmatically equipped to do so. Put simply, while Atlas may be the best bot currently available, there are other robots with similar capabilities. The more complex abilities of humans currently surpass the capabilities of all robotic companies. Among them, Tesla is promising the most human-like qualities for Optimus. Despite minimal capabilities, Optimus still impresses with its short processing time. As Musk stated at this event, Optimus will be amazing in five years, 10 years. This time, can we believe him? Let us know which robot technology you prefer more, Optimus or Boston Dynamics Atlas, and how you perceive the potential of these robot technologies in shaping the future. We appreciate your contribution. We hope you'll have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Tesla Car World family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun Christmas season.